So you just went through the trouble of going through the Intro to Substance Designer tutorial on Substance Academy, and now you have a pile of dirt. Great job, I'm proud of you. Now I'm going to show you how to bring your pile of dirt into Blender and give it a cool animated effect. Okay, so you know the drill. Delete the default scene, add in a plane, scale it up, and add a subdivision modifier set to simple. Not enough subdivisions? Go into edit mode, subdivide it some more. Let's say 8. Now that we've got some real geo, add a displacement modifier, give it a texture, and select your height map from Substance Designer. That's this one, by the way. Once you have your height imported, lower the strength on the displacement to something around 0.1. Now you can give your plane a material, and we'll start importing our other texture maps. You can add in your base color, ambient occlusion, roughness, and normal map. Once you have all your texture maps imported, you can start by adding your ambient occlusion to your base color by adding in a mix RGB and setting it to multiply. Don't forget to switch to the material preview mode in the viewport so you can see your material update in real time. Then connect your roughness map to the roughness input on your shader and then add in a normal map node for your normal texture. Now our texture is looking sufficiently bumpy, but we're still only looking at a small patch of dirt. I want to look at a large patch of dirt. So I'm going to select my base color and I'm going to hit Control T, which is going to add in a mapping node and a texture coordinate. Connect the mapping node to the vector inputs on all your texture maps. Then select the X, Y, and Z scale values and set them to 4. Don't forget to go to your displacement texture, go to the mapping settings, and set the X and Y repeat values both to 4. This will make sure that the displacement also matches up with our other texture maps. Okay, so it's looking pretty good. But the puddles are looking a little flat and stagnant to me. I want to add in some water ripples because it's a little bit of a windy day outside. To do this, start by adding in a mix RGB and a bump node. Set the mix RGB to add and add the bump node and the normal map into both inputs. Now create a noise texture and plug it into the height input on the bump node. Plug the mix RGB with our normal information into the normal input on our shader. And as you can see, it's adding a lot of normal information, but it's doing it across our entire texture. We want to isolate it so that it only affects the water puddles. So if you go back to your Substance Designer material, at the end of the graph, you should have created a water level node. This node has a built-in mask output. So create another output node for your mask and export the map to Blender. Back in Blender, bring in your mask and plug it into the factor on the mix RGB. You can use a color ramp node to control the area that's affected by the noise texture. With the noise texture, up to scale and hit Ctrl T to add in another mapping node. You can play with the rotation values on this mapping node to see how the water ripples change across the surface. But something doesn't look quite right. Before I figure it out myself, can you tell me what I missed? That's right, I forgot to plug in the mapping node from our other texture maps into the vector input on our texture mask. Going back to the mapping node on our noise texture, use the X and Y scale values to change the shape of the water ripples. From here, I'm just going to tweak and adjust some of the values until I get something that's more desirable. I'm going to clamp the color ramp node that's plugged into our mask a little bit more just to control the spread of the water ripples a little bit. Then I'm going to add in another noise texture by duplicating the one we already have. And I'm going to up the scale on this node to something around 200. I'm then going to add in a math node set to divide and plug in both of our noise textures. I'm also going to switch the mapping node from our first noise texture to the second one that I scaled up. Once I'm happy with the results, I'm going to animate the water ripples by creating a driver for the X rotation value on the mapping node that's plugged into our noise texture. To create this driver, type in hashtag or the pound symbol max, then parentheses, and in the parentheses type in frame times pi divided by 6000. Go ahead and throw in an HDRI from HDRI Haven and check out your results in the rendered view. Looking pretty good! In the next video, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to create some video game style vegetation that we can spread across our texture. So please subscribe and consider hitting the bell icon to receive notifications when I post my next video. Thanks for watching!